Testing. One, Testing. two, three. Okay. Hey, I, I'm, I'm new at this. Um, still a little bit confused why I'm here. Um, don't really think I have a problem. Uh, can you just fill me in? Why am I here? That's a great question. I'm just a therapist, but one of your former associates uh, recommended you to be here. But uh, if you have questions about the documentary and such, you have to speak to the director. His name is Steven Corbeil. Is the director, uh, what's his name, Steven? Is he here now? Can I talk to him yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Alex? Uh, so, uh, what would you like to talk about? I'd like to discuss, like, why I'm here. You know, like, the, uh, the whole therapy, uh, docu thing that you've got going on here. I'm a little bit confused as why I'm here, you know? That's a good question, Alex. And now I think it's time we told you. We're doing a PBS documentary series looking into your addiction to Dr. Pepper. All right, boss man, I guess I'm in. All right, Alex, so you insist you don't have a problem. So here today, we have a Dr. Pepper can, and we'll see if you can resist it for 10 minutes. Professor, in your professional opinion, what would you say the chances that Alex is going to succeed through this challenge are? Mm. Alex's fixation or dependency is going to show to be very troublesome during this trial. Uh, but I hope he makes it, but to be honest, I don't think he will. But don't tell him I said that. So, Alex, tell me, how confident are you in your ability to not drink the Dr. Pepper in a matter of 10 minutes? Confidence is extremely and extremely high. Um, I think it's going to be no problem. I think it's going to be really easy. Uh, not even the temptation of a delicious Dr. Pepper could stop me from completing this challenge. I, I don't think it's going to be a problem whatsoever for me. I don't have a problem with Dr. Pepper. So, Director, in your opinion, just as a wild guess, do you think Alex will succeed in completing this trial? Yes! No. Uh, just use whatever take you want out of those. I don't, I don't have time for this. I got two Dr. Peppers for him. I'm so excited to see his progress. Yeah, I'm so hyped to the triumphant hero. Five days. I've been waiting for here for him to wake up. <laughs> it's my fault. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not. Dude, 
I just hopped on my first flight back from Antarctica. Where is he? Oh, Alex! My guy! Come on! Get up! What did you guys do to him? It was an accident. We were just running some tests. <laughs> Steven, wait! Steven! You know what? I'm done here! Steven! Alex is no longer in a coma, however he can't move. Steven, our previous director, quit his job two weeks ago and kids are replacing him. What up guys, it's Big Squirt here, and we are going to be the dankest vibes possible. So, what does this bring to the table in terms of Alex? Russell, I need some Dr. Pepper. Go to the store. I'll be back, guys. I gotta get some Dr. Pepper from the store. Um I'll be back in a jiffy. I gotta get Alex's stuff. We have moved to a new location to not remind Alex of his past traumas. I'm gonna go introduce myself to Alex and we're gonna get to talking. Hello, Alex. I'm your new director of Big Squirt and I'm here to fill you in with some therapy. You know, after like this past week or so, you know, being in the coma, it's really opened my eyes. I, I think I do have a problem, and I think I'd like to pursue help to help me get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, whoa. As you know, my name is Dr. Pendergraft, and before we start, are you comfortable telling me your inner emotions? Yes, I suppose so. To start, what exactly started your Dr. Pepper addiction? When I was a boy back in Gimmelstum, I was bullied heavily, made fun of, mocked, on a daily basis. This one boy, named Joseph, always was berating me, with a constant barrage of insults and slander, and I just, I couldn't handle daily life anymore. I needed something that I could find comfort in, consistently. That which being Dr. Pepper? Yes. It was around this time when Joseph's bullying was at its worst that I turned to Dr. Pepper. It was the only way I thought I could fit in with Joseph and his gaggled d But in fact, it didn't. It only made me feel slightly better about myself. Alex, you seem to have developed an unhealthy dependency on Dr. Pepper. Do you think there's anything else you can do to fill this void? I don't know, but I've tried everything. From Dr. Check, to Dr. Chill, Dr. Choice, Dr. Cool, Dr. D, Dr. Dazzle, Dr. Delight, Dr. Diablo, Dr. Doctor, Dr. Dynamite, Dr. Extreme, Dr. Fiesta, Dr. Fresh, Dr. Good Guy, Dr. High Top, Dr. Gulpster, Dr. K, but none of them, not even Dr. Perky, could fill the gap that left in my heart my beloved Dr. Pepper. Have you ever tried Coke? <sighs> Director! Director! Don't worry, Gargantuan Squirter has this. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to set you off. No, it, it's not your fault. It's just, back in Gimmelstum, Coke was Joseph's favorite drink, and I'm, I'm still scarred from that. Okay, Alex, one final question. What is your greatest fear? I suppose that my greatest fear is relapsing with my addiction to Dr. Pepper. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction My faith is shaken, but I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my hand held high 
Oh, my God. 